Hi everyone, welcome to my second episode explaining and showing this great line of action figures from Hasbro called Marvel Legends Retro 3.75. Check out my first video featuring Spider-Man. That kind of gives you an intro to this video series plus additional details about the figures and the general goals of the, these videos. Again, my name is Charlie and there might be moments of uh, dead air, stuttering, a lot of uhs and other terrible communication skills, but hopefully this will be helpful in general in introducing these figures and accessories to you. And I hope to be better in the future episodes. This episode features the Hulk. As of March 2021, Hasbro has one version of this figure. Hulk is considered part of the Wave 1 set of figure, figures that had an early release at Target stores in the United States. Hopefully more will come out in April of 2021 and readily available in uh, more stores like Walmart. Um, today I'm happy to have one in hand to open and discuss with you. And here he is. Um, again, my first video features Spider-Man and now I have a figure to show some size comparisons to. But before we open the package, let's go over the general artwork and differences when it comes to packaging. I like to start from the top to the bottom. So this is the front of the card. On the top, you can see there's uh, this four plus, that's the recommended age group for this figure. Um, also, you could see that Hasbro has its own Marvel Legends logo here in the right corner. On the top, it, it has black and yellow uh, action lines kind of going around the edges here on the dark blue back, background, which you know fades kind of to the sides all around here. Or not fades, but flows down to the bottom. And... Uh, from there, you can see um, the Incredible Hulk logo. Um, that's pretty well known. And um, we have a red outline here around, around the card here and also around the bubble. You might see that I kind of opened it already. Um, I tried to do a video earlier. I got to a certain point, but got interrupted. So <laughs> it's, it's open already, but... Uh, We'll, we'll go further into that later in the video. Um, one of the cool things to point out is that this actually takes a little bit more area when it comes to, to the bubble and the figure and the background. Uh, as you can see, there's a yellow background. That space is a lot larger than, uh, say, for a single uh, character or more of a smaller character. So, so this area and bubble is taking more space than the other figures um, have um, than, and are out there. <laughs> Anyways, um, going back, as you can see, there's more action lines here in the background of this kind of yellow to orange background of the Hulk. And this is the Hulk, of course, um, coming straight at you. Um, again, this drawing of the Hulk is by John, Christ John Tyler Christopher. And I kind of uh, give a brief description of who he is in the first video. Um, so yeah, it looks like so far he's, he's the main artist on, on all the cards that are out so far. Uh, let's see what else. And then as you can see, the cool traditional Kenner logo is down here and and right here you can see the little paper that that comes with the figure that has a warning uh, information and manufacturer information as well so i'm going to go ahead and switch the the card around and we can talk about the back um, i'm also kind of going over some stuff that i missed maybe on the last video uh, and, oops, sorry. Anyways, uh, as you can see, this is the 
Marvel Legends logo here on the top right. Um, in the last video, um, there was, we featured Spider-Man, and they had two variants um, of that card. One had a lighter blue and one had a darker blue. Um, this one has just a, a darker blue um, for this card. And as you can see, there's this real, really cool cutout um, card where you, you could, you know, basically cut it out and uh, save it as like a baseball card. <laughs> and but it features the artwork that's in the front, along with the logo that's also in the front, and uh, with the orange background, and instead of the blend of the yellow and orange. And if you go to the right, uh, you see the Hulk name is in this uh, in this area, uh, along with a brief description of uh, who the Hulk is, very brief. And it comes in five different languages. Um, we kind of described the languages in the first video, so check that out. I'm trying to cut down on time, so. Um, just wanted to let you know that you can check that out in episode one and then as you can see there's kind of two uh, halves to to this card this below half with the blue background uh, has the warning information and then the manufacturer information um, in the spider-man video you might have saw that the for the direct release from hasbro hasbro pulse um, they had a spider-man image in here versus this UPC code. Um, considering that this Hulk card or figure is the only one that's out and was in stores only and uh, it's considered more of a retail release than a direct release. So you're going to see on the retail releases the UPC code. Whereas say Hasbro had directly uh, release this figure you might have saw might have uh, seen a picture of the Hulk in this location but that doesn't exist and for now we have the UPC code uh, here's the Marvel logo and Hasbro logo and then here in this corner um, something I learned since the the last video is a number that I will uh, correlate with you on the figure um, when we open it, which is right now. So I'm going to turn it around. Again, I, I already opened this in, on a different version of the of uh, the video. And uh, so let me just go ahead and take it out. Again, a little bit larger than the other figures. Um, the plastic is really cool how they, they shape the the character to fit into it and there we go here's the Hulk um, so now this is a part of the video where where uh, I go off script and just uh, play it by ear kind of thing um, again this is not a review but it, uh, I just want to just kind of give you an overview this hair is really detailed it's, um, has its little curls in it <laughs> and then pretty Good base, um, very um, smooth contours, I guess, on, on the figure itself. Um, and uh, and then also this has the the traditional purple pants that that a lot of the comics and depictions of the Hulk featured over the years. Um, so I'm not sure where he got all this, so many purple pants, but um, yeah, they. This is a traditional look to to the Hulk. Um, so yeah, here's the front. Here's the side view, and here's the back view. And then on the bottom, he has two pegs. And a little footprint kind of thing going on there. Uh, let's see how he stands. He stands fairly great, actually. Really cool. Um, some there's there's some information here that's kind of blended into the paint, uh, saying that it's made in China. 
um, has some kind of coating in it. And uh, this also has marble and some more wording on it. Um, and I can't see right now. But yeah, there's some wording here. But one of the cool things is that, and different from the last video that I failed to see, was this, this marking right here. And it correlates to actually this number down here. So 03651, it matches 03651 on the card. So a way of uh, officializing it, I guess, in some way, or product number. Um, so yeah, that's pretty cool that that's there. Uh, again, you know, very, pretty, pretty simple in a way. Um, no accessories with this figure. Um, has a clenched fist here and a open hand here a little bit. Less clenched, I guess. And um, yeah, it's a very cool figure. Uh, again, reminds me of the old school uh, Secret War series. So I really enjoyed that part of it. Awesome. Um, anyways, um, I hope you enjoyed this episode. Um, check out my other episodes and subscribe. I appreciate any constructive criticism, which I'm sure there's a lot of that. <laughs> and I hope to add more videos soon. If you're looking to uh, join a great and private group, uh, check out my favorite group on Facebook and search for Marvel Legends Retro 3.75 Collectors. Uh, oh, actually, you know what? I'm sorry. Before I go... I wanted to show the size comparison also with the Spider-Man. That was part of the reason why I wanted to to uh, bring Spider-Man Spider-Man back into the show <laughs> to show how they how they compare. Uh, I'll bring it back a little bit further. So there definitely is a cool size difference between the two. Um, of course, it always varies on on how someone draws characters. So they can be bigger. The characters can be bigger in some forms and smaller in others. <laughs> so, but I think they match pretty good together and look great together. Um, okay, uh, going back to my final words. <laughs> um, uh, also, don't forget to check out HasbroPulse.com for exclusives to buy figures and to find additional information about these figures. Um, thanks again for checking out this video and hopefully you will come back for another one. <laughs> Anyways, take care and take it easy. Bye.